A very warm welcome to the Spine Channel. I am your host, Dr. Shumayi Datta, and today we'll be looking at a case of lumbar disc herniation, also known as slip disc, and the surgical outcomes of keyhole discectomy. So here we see a 40-year-old lady who came to me with severe leg pain. The pain started in the buttock and was shooting down the legs. She did not improve with medications and rest and physiotherapy. And you can see her walking here and wincing in pain. The pain levels kept increasing to the point where she couldn't even walk to the washroom anymore. At this point, a few months into treatment, we decided to go in for surgery. Even though all patients with a slip disc don't require surgery. As a matter of fact, less than 10% patients do. Uh, but she was a candidate. So now we take a look at the MRI scan. Uh, these are the spinal vertebrae one on top of each other and in between two of these bones you see this tissue this is known as the disc so this acts like a cushion and allows movement and absorbs shock in the spine here at this level you see the disc is not contained within its normal anatomical margins and it's pushed out at the back this white structure at the back is the spinal nerve and this is coming down all the way till here till there's a bump in front and then it goes down again so the same view looking at the spinal canal top down now we see this <clears throat> disc herniation in front the spinal nerves at the back and this black tissue bulging into the spinal canal this is the disc herniation and here is the right nerve root which is pushed out by the disc herniation and this was the cause of her pain so she was worked up for surgery and planned for a keyhole discectomy or a minimally invasive discectomy so these are the steps. First, a needle is put in to locate the disc herniation. Uh, if you saw the MRI scan, it was somewhere here. And then over the needle, serial dilatation is done. And this is the final working channel. It's around one and a half centimeters in diameter. So this is the process of serial dilatation. This is the first dilator going in through a small nick in the skin. And over that dilator, larger dilators are pushed in so what this does is it pushes the muscle out of the way without really injuring it and creates a working space to do the surgery it's a very technically demanding surgery because the working space is small as compared with the open surgery but it's very fruitful in terms of outcomes so once the final tube is in you can take the measurement and then that's the working channel that will now go in And through this working channel, the rest of the surgery will happen. Now, this is a small video clip of the microscopic view of looking through the tube. And this is the retractor. Behind this is the nerve. This is a suction. And this is the instrument being used to remove the disc herniation. And we'll just take a look at the herniated fragment that comes out. And that's a big chunk there, measuring about one centimeter in size. The advantages of doing surgeries via these keyholes are that after the surgery, when the tube is removed, you see the muscles falling into place. And this is without any injury to the muscle. And when the tube is completely removed, you can see the muscles automatically close because that's its anatomical position. And the skin incision is a very small, tiny one. Now let's take a look at her post-op. You can see her walking now with relative ease comfortably. The look of for pain, the discomfort is gone. She's walking freely. And this is six hours post-surgery. While different patients experience different outcomes in terms of the amount of relief of symptoms immediately post-op, she experienced a complete relief of symptoms. So why keyhole surgery and what are the advantages? There's less of pain earlier recovery, in turn, earlier return to work, of course, a smaller scar, much lesser infection rates as compared to open surgery, and there is almost no injury to the spinal muscles. I thank you all for a patient hearing, and I hope to see you at my next video.